this is part two now so I had to move the files over because basically I ran out I was running out of memory which might be why it stopped for a moment on the last video so let's continue so we're gonna look at the we're gonna be focusing on the video and DVD player now but it's you know this is amazing because of the TV uh, because videos videotapes especially they they just look best on a good old cathode ray tube because of the analog nature although I know I understand that this these widescreen models did have a bit of a bit of digital circuitry in them but still they certainly handle tapes better than anything else I mean I think even like the early plasma TVs were also good with tapes uh, anyway let's let's put something in shall we now I'm going to start off with Star Wars A New Hope so let's go in it might start going fuzzy I've wound it oh Right, there we go. I've wound it to a nice scene here. Let's just watch, shall we? Well, the colour might not be too good on the camera, but it does look good to me. Probably gonna get a co probably gonna get a copyright claim, but I don't care. Mm. Even I get bored sometimes. Do you think I had a choice? My dead body. Yes, I bet you have. Now, this video is this video tape is very worn because I mean I'd imagine it's been it was played a lot before I bought it and you know I've played it quite a lot myself so let's just stop it there oh. <laughs> unfortunately this particular player it just uh, lets the fuzz through when you stop it but yeah it's it's pretty good like that that tape is very worn i mean i don't know i don't know what the quality is for you guys watching and i know that the colors don't always come out right because because of how the because of how it looks because of how cathode ray tubes look on camera sometimes the colors don't look right so yeah I mean considering how low quality that is though like it's still you know it's still pretty good it's watchable and I think that's only because of the TV because of the way cathode ray tubes display things you know, it can make a crap tape watchable Right, so let's go with the matrix now. I'm gonna put that in. I was gonna start it from the from like the beginning bit, but I thought I'd wind it up to uh, where are we at? This D, this cool bit here. This is DVD. Is what happens when you watch DVD. It's a movie on a disc the size of a CD. The picture is twice as sharp as VHS. The sound is infinitely clearer. It looks and sounds like you're at the movies, but you can experience it at home. Not to mention, you can watch it in widescreen. Pick your language. Choose from many additional features. Watch a movie right on your computer. And 
and rental by DVDs created by these great Hollywood studios. DVD. See how good a movie at home can be. And now, choose from hundreds of great DVD titles. The Matrix. DVD. Yeah. Yeah. When you rent or buy a video, you need to know that the film you choose right, is suitable watch to this. the audience at home. To help you understand what the film is like, you can look at the certificate it has been given. This film has been classified as 15. That means this film is unsuitable for anyone younger than 15. A film with a 15 certificate may have a fairly adult theme, or may contain scenes of violence, sex or drugs, which are unsuitable for younger teenagers. Nothing wrong with violence. Sexual swear words. It is an offence to supply a video classified 15 to anyone below that age. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make the right choice. Thanks for listening. Beginning of the nanny state there. Beginning of... Gosh. I like how they used to just... It's almost like they used to just tape the film reel and then just scan it directly to the tape. Wait. Stay tuned after the movie for a special behind-the-scenes look at the making of The Matrix. Well, that bit was added in there, so... No, but, like, they used to have the certificate thing that you used to get at the cinema. L let me turn the lights off. I don't know if that's going to make the colour better or worse. I mean, it's... Considering it's... Been, like, this tape is a lot better quality than the Star Wars one. It's nowhere near as worn. I mean, considering it's VHS, it's pretty good. Yeah. Another great thing about the tape is that, what well, for the Matrix, it doesn't have the horrible green tins. I think that's enough. I think you get the point there. I mean, oh. Yeah, 
I need to wind back Star Wars as well, but that can wait. Um, yeah, so, I mean, tape, I mean, you know, that's something amazing is, well, I think The Matrix really shows, you know, v, you know, VHS at its max, really, because, especially at the beginning there, with the green, the phosphor, I mean, on the, on the CRT as well, like, you know, it gives it the glow that you would have got on those monitors. That's something other TVs can't really replicate. You know, on here, that really is green. Well, okay, it's not the same green phosphor that was used, but you know what I mean? It's, it, this uses phosphor. So the good thing about that is that the screen is generating every, Every bit of phosphor is generating its own light. Whereas modern TVs, they use a backlight, which is just not as good, is it? But yeah, that's... Um, I don't think there's much more to say about VHS. I think I'm actually going to have to make a part three for DVD, because, again, I'm running out of memory. Yes, I'm recording this in 50 frames per second but that's because i figured it would probably show less problems because the tv is running in running at 50 hertz so i just thought there might be less screen issues i think i can see something on there and also it gives you a better idea of what i'm seeing because even if a film is at 25 frames per second the noise and stuff on the screen I think is still going to be at 50 will still be showing at like uh, 50 Hertz Okay, okay I don't even I'm, I'm using the wrong terminology here. Sorry. I'm, I'm just a bit tired because it's it is actually really early in the morning and this is the best time to do it when there's no other noise in the house so yeah that's it for vhs if you want to know about the dvd aspect then go on to the next video part three